In today's video, we'll talk about that roadmap about in Jira. So what is roadmap and how it is useful for project management in Jira. So let's understand that. So if you see, if you have options uh, in a project, you have a option for roadmap. If you click the roadmap at that moment, you can see only one uh, thing is showing that is called train one create dashboard. And this is the current date which is showing nothing else is doing or nothing else is showing. So basically, under the roadmap, we can see a clear picture that for a long project, let's say that I am building a long thing and that we can clearly understand that the when this project or when these things will be done. So as external or maybe stakeholder, they have a clear understanding that when this project is going to be end. So using the roadmap, we can have a uh, clear pictureized uh, view that when, when what things will be done on which basis and when it will be uh, completed. So if you see at that moment, I have a, under the issue, I have a one, uh, uh, you can say task, which is called find out uh, target a user. You can see this is the task and under this task, it is showing the train one, which is nothing but an AP. So when you create a AP, the AP will not show under the board. This AP will be, you can just select this particular, you can create your own AP. Let's say I'm creating that here called, let's say AP here, called AP one. And then if we create that, those APIC will not be shown here. You can see all these APIC are created, but if APIC is not showing here, APIC will be shown under the roadmap. So once you go to the roadmap, you will be able to see these APICs are showing. So here we can see that how many under the roadmap, we can see that how many APICs is present at that moment for these projects. And if you expand that, you can see under the APIC, we have expand button. And if you expand that, we have a clear understanding that under this AP, how many, uh, you know, uh, story or task is there basically. So understand one thing, AP is a high level design. So let's say create a dashboard and that have maybe four or 10 tasks, small, small tasks that will be shown under here. Now, once you click the AP, it will show the AP details. And if we see that AP start date, let's say I'm selecting the today's date and the due date, I'm saying that this will be done in this date, particular day. Once we've done that, you can see this is showing that time right now. So once you select the epic start date end date, and then you can change the color from here to any color. So once you select this information and save that, the projection will be getting started. So you can see this is the this is the starting project. So here the project the epic will be start, and here the supposed to be. I'm expecting that this epic will be ended here. So similarly, you can see, I can, uh, you know, select any of this date and it is showing that this epic will be started here and this epic will be ended here. So this way we can define that or we can understand that right now that this is, if this is the situation at that moment, this uh, roadmap, we will be able to see this project is started at that moment and this will be ended in this, that moment. So these features that create dashboard will be end into that. Uh, 429 so this is in this date I am expecting that this uh, epic will be done and under this epic uh, when we expand that these are the uh, you know uh, story or task is there that will be also completed here even you can option to select particular epic to see their uh, you can select particular epic here and then you can see their map or else if you want to clear this AP. So I mean clear this AP filter, you can just click the clear filter. It will be clear that filter. Now this roadmap can be shared by exporting this one. Either you can export this roadmap or maybe you can just simply click the share button to share particular user with the mail or you can copy this link and then send through the email in a different way. So if I go back to the dashboard on um, main board, in case you are not able to find this roadmap, what do you have to do? You can go to the project setting. Under the project settings, I told you the features. And under the feature, you make sure that this roadmap is turned on. If it is turned off, you will not be able to see this uh, roadmap anymore. So you have to go to the, in case you are not seeing that roadmap, you have to go to the project settings. Under the project settings, you have to go to the features and then you have to turn on this roadmap. So in this roadmap, even you can directly create a epic here. Also, you can put that epic three, something like that. You can put that and then click save. So it will automatically create your epic and then you can select any of this time frame. Let's say I'm selecting this time frame and click OK. So that automatically it will create the time. So if you want to update that, you can simply click that. And then in case you want to update, you can simply update that.
Now let's say that uh, now let's say we have a three APIC at that moment, and this APIC is dependent on this APIC. So once this APIC will be done, then this APIC will be started. So once this is if, if this is in progress, we can't work on this APIC. For that, you can see we have once you hover over that, you have a link option. You can simply select the link, and then you can drag to this APIC. Once you select that, it will see a drag or one option is added, and it's showing that. The view dependency details and it's a dependency it's create a dependency and once i simply click options and you can see it is blocked by and it's showing that another epic name so this way we can create the dependency so even if you want to add directly a uh, user here you can click the add people and then from directly you can add the email address or maybe role or maybe group name and you can directly add user to here like name group or email address you can directly add them even if you want to filter like uh, category like uh, to do in progress, you can put this filter like uh, and you can start filtering them. So these are the filter options basically given by um, this Jira. And yeah, so this is how we can uh, see the clear picture of the project when it is started and when it's about to end. If you have any question, let me know. So that's it for today. Thank you very much. Have a great day.